YouTube Dawson Rider here with a review of the Deluxe Gao Lion from Kaiser Sentai Go Kaiju. This is the Deluxe Gao Lion. It is the real deal. It is legit. So anyway, um, as usual, let's get started with the packaging. Um, this packaging a great deal bigger than uh, Magic Dragon and Patch Riders due to the Gao Lion being bigger. Got a picture of Gao Lion here on the front, looking all epic. Um, then we got a helmet uh, shot of Shinken Go Kaio. A uh, picture of Shinken Gokaio down here, and then it says Deluxe Gal Line, I'm sure. Gokai Machine Series 03. Uh, on the side, we have a picture of Gal Line. Uh, Gokaio shows how they combine into Gal Gokaio. And then on the other side, it shows that it com uh, turns into Shinken Gokaio as well. Because so if you didn't know, this duels for the Gal Ranger tribute and the Shinken Ranger tribute. On the top, we have a picture of Gal Red. Uh, Gal Line here, Shinken Gokaio here. On the back, a picture of Gal Lion looking epic, roaring at you. Um, shows that you push the button to activate noises and main and stuff. Uh, shows Shinken Gokaio, Gal Gokaio. How the turning gimmick works with the pop outs, uh, the weapons he comes with. And on the bottom, we get the coolest shot <clears throat> Gal Lion, and then we have uh, Gokai Red with Gal Red and Shinken Red as an epic tribute shot. And then Shinken Gokaio again. So, cool box, very cool. Uh, it's gonna leave now because it's gonna be in the way. So I have to bring in Gao Lion. Here he is in all of his awesomeness. Alright, so as you can see, he's a great deal bigger than um, the previous Gokai machines. He's pretty much in scale with that one. I don't, I don't know for sure because I don't have it, but uh, you know, more along the size, along the lines of the Gao Lion that released for the Gao Kintaris, I think? Gao Kintaris, lol. Anyway, so here he is. He looks pretty awesome. Um, the paint and details on him look pretty sweet. Um, you know, mainly gold uh, for his mane and around here and his um, his claws. Uh, a few little silver parts and then red. Um, it all looks pretty nice. Um, it's like nothing like too extravagant, but it, it looks good. Uh, his face here looks really awesome. Uh, spoiler alert in there. And then his eyes here are like uh, greenish yellow, and you can tell they light up and they look good. Um, he can't really do a whole lot in this mode. Um, if you pull out here, these things, uh, he can roll. Uh, just give me a second. You can pull these out here. Under here. Get out of there. There you go. And just pull them out right here and right here. And then here on his back feet. Pull them out right like this. And he can roll. And he's like, wee. That's like minutes and minutes of fun. So yeah, he moves around nicely, and he and he looks cool in this mode, but, um, so that's pretty much all he does without sounds. Now he has sounds, let me just put these, uh, wheels away so that we don't have to worry about that later. Got lion wheels away. Okay, so, uh, first of all, what I'm going to mention quick is when you get him in the box, he's going to come in some separate pieces. Fairly, really easy to put together. It's just this giant front piece here with his front legs, uh, his headpiece, which clips right in. Um, and then this piece here, which is going to be a weapon, uh, this back piece here, and then these two legs, and then this, and they're really easy to assemble. No real instructions required. Anyhow, so to turn the sounds on, you pull his head out, there's an on and off switch in here, so turn it on, and his lights... It will make that noise from Gal Ranger, and then put his head back in now. Alright, so now he makes, I, uh, I think, uh, four different sounds, I think, um... Anyway, by pressing this button, and then eventually by pressing it like 20 times, he's going to make a purring noise, which I'll try to get. So anyway. Get a roar. Battling noises and a roar. Triple roar. Yeah, see, there's an adorable meow that takes about 20 times. I don't know why they make it so difficult to get it. I don't understand why they can't just make it like the fifth sound. But whatever. Uh, it's cool. Uh, sounds all epic. And then his mane pops out, as you can see, which is cool. And my hinges stay in. They, they feel a little flimsy, but they still stay in. So anyway, that's all he does in this mode. Um, so now what we're going to do is Gao Gokaio. And for prep, all we're going to do is pet him. because That's pretty much all you have to do. I'll uh, bring in uh, Gokaio right now. Here he is. And here you can see the size. Uh, he's pretty well proportioned. 
Um, let me move things back a little bit here so that we can pull in. Okay, so all you have to do for Gokai, I already have the swords in him, which could technically be found in his prep if you don't have the swords in him already, is take off uh, pink and yellow and just set them aside. We're not going to need them for uh, anything we're going to be doing here today. And then just take the holes where his legs were and set them into the top here, or the pegs where his legs were, and set them into the top here. And you're going to make sure you get them in like real good for uh, later. And there you have, whoops, uh, hitting the backboard, Go, Go Kaio. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, it's kind of to, you know, uh, pay homage to uh, Gao Kintaris, I think. I might get the name wrong. The one where uh, it rides on Gao Line. You know what I'm talking about, in case I get it wrong, because I haven't seen Gao Ranger, only Wild Force. But, um, yeah, it's it's a neat idea. It comes off as just kind of boring. Probably my least favorite, um, you know, what you call it? My least favorite tribute mech, just because it's kind of boring. And, and it gets rid of pink and yellow. And that always kind of bugs me when, uh, you know, it's supposed to be the, uh, like, oh, it's Gal Gokaio. Not really, because you got rid of two pieces of Gokaio. Um, just quickly. There you go. Now he can charge into battle and he's all epic. Ching, ching, ching. And I'll hold it. Come on. There. And when you hold the button, it'll do like a final attack. So yeah, that's about it. Nothing really special. He can roll if you have his wheels open. I'm not going to roll him because I undid that because I don't want him rolling away. But So that's that's pretty much it. So for Shinka and Gokaio, um, here's what we're going to do. Um, okay. So I'm going to fold these up just because I am. Okay, so we're going to zoom down here. So you're going to want to disassemble pieces of Gokaio. You're going to pull out his head like this. Set that aside quickly. Take the back here. Take this tail piece off. And then you're going to take these back legs off. Don't worry, he won't fall over. Set them aside as well. Take this piece and set it aside. And then you can also take this piece. Well, if you want to do it like the show, take the swords off of his person. And then right here, they slide right in. Slide right in. Don't make a lie out of me. Uh, here's this one over here. Go in here. And this one kind of pushes in. you got to move that around. There you go. So that's going to create a weapon, so we're going to take that off, though. So, uh, that legs are pretty much done. Uh, what should we do first? Let's do the, um, arms. Okay, so we're going to crank the wheel back here, open this up, and open it up further so we can get that, and then spoilers on the legs. Um, oh, whatever. Okay, so what we're going to do is so take this piece really simple just fold it down and then make sure you fold its its claws like that and then uh, actually what I want to do is open this up and there's a piece here and fold it out like this and then close it back up it's not going to snap close until you until you get in here and you're going to want to fold it back here and then it will it's going to rest in place once you get the there we go the mechanism back okay same thing here, fold this back, fold this down, open this up, fold this out of here, close it up, fold this back here, and it'll line up with here, and this will hold it back once you have the mechanism back in place. Oh, god. Touch the skull of yellow. That sounded funny. Uh, okay, now take Gal Line. Well, first, actually, you're going to want to take off his giant dick piece. I didn't mention this in Magi Gokaio or Daka Gokaio because it didn't show the instructions, but you can take this off at any point. Um, and then just stick it in here. There we go. Stick it in the front. Very simple. Um, let's see. Is there any other prep? Okay, well, uh, that's pretty much it. Take off Gao, uh, Gao, Gao Kaios, uh, Go Kaios helmet. And then we're going to replace it with this helmet here. And it's going to go on nicely. There we go. Okay. Now, and then we'll separate this like so. And everything's all happy. Okay. I feel like it did snap on and it's not. There we go. Okay. So I think that's all the prep we really need. Um, yeah, let me just make sure everything's set. Um, pull back. And here we go. So you can pretty much see all of them. 
I'm going to move angle so I can come over here. So now I'm going to twist the back and you will see him fully transform. Oops. So yeah, that's what he does. He trans that's Shinken Gokaio. The um the uh, arm pieces here that were the legs left up to reveal yellow and pinks uh, kanji and then the legs drop down here and then this uh, drops down to reveal reds um, because Gao Lion is a lion and then uh, Shishi Origami is a lion for uh, Shinken Red they decided to duel it up because lion's in the center I guess I don't know um, save money and get you a good tribute mech for each um, but it looks pretty cool um, I definitely like the look of it oh yeah when you're done with this mode, you can kind of like uh, even it out by pushing this up. Oops, I didn't snap that in all the way. Um, because when you're lining it up, uh, it it'll like rarely um, lines up all the way to the the claw. So just do that. Anyhow, um, so let's put one of his weapons in. Which will be the, I'll put this one in. And he uses this one in the show. Um, it's like, I guess I didn't get that in quite right, but whatever. Um, I, I don't know, like, really what they're going for it. I guess maybe, like, when they did the duel things in Shankenger, I don't know. But it's, it's kind of neat the way they did that and took this piece from Gao Lion and, you know, utilized both swords. That's pretty neat. Um, his other weapon, which is a really inaccurate size, if you remember this piece here, it's going to become a Reika Daizanto. Um, open these up and uh, fold it like that and then fold this down and we're gonna put it in his hand and then you get a Reika Daisato. Um, it, it's nice to have it there but after I see it in the show it's completely inaccurate because in the show it's like this scale it's gigantic but it's cool to have it there um, yeah let's see now let me just press this for I think it's gonna there and then you get that final noise. So uh, overall, Shinken Gokaio looks pretty neat. I definitely like the way it looks with all the uh, kanji symbols for the Shinkenders here. Uh, the two different weapons, the creative use of Gao Lion, um, and the cool helmet. I just think it gives a really great look overall. Uh, personally, like it still bugs me, like I said with Gao Lion, when like you have a combination of two of mech and they get rid of two mecha, like um, yellow and pink. It just kind of bugs me because now it's not, it's not really Gokaio anymore and you take out two pieces. But uh, I kind of wish that maybe, I mean it's hard to do with Gowline that they would work their way around it so you can have everyone in it. But that's just something that bugs me personally. Otherwise it looks really cool. Um, definitely my favorite of the two molds. Uh, well, I mean two molds, the two modes. Good, goodbye. I really enjoy him. Uh, he's definitely worth the money. You get a lot uh, for what you pay for. You get, uh, this Gowline looks good on his own. He's really big and cool. Uh, you get some cool sounds. Uh, you can make Gao Go Kaio and Shinken Go Kaio, and just a lot of different playability and modes you can work with. And it definitely worked worth the money, uh, especially if you're a fan of Gao Ranger or Shinkenger. I definitely uh, recommend it if you have a uh, Go Kaio to pick it up. So I think that is about it. Uh, Gao Line gets my Dawson Rider seal of approval. Until next time, check out the epic site at RidersRangersAndRambles.com for token news in the craziest way possible, uh, as well as the epic podcast and the epic ramboards. So until next time, it's Dawson Rider, signing out.